Jack Moore photographer Mike Warner joins us now with what he's seeing. Mike, what can you tell us? Well, we've been on this scene for about an hour or so, a little over an hour. This is about a two or three hundred acre grass fire. Most of the grass fire has been under control, and just till recently, we noticed that the fire was spreading towards these power lines, and that's the big concern. I'm going to widen out the shot. You can see now that a lot of that fire has burned itself out. This is just like real uh, light brush, uh, about through three or four foot tall weeds, very light brush. Um, so it's burning real quick. There's no moisture in that in that fuel, so it's burning real quick. But what has, what has happened recently is it's burning over under these power lines, and that's what's really got us concerned. You can see as I zoom in here, and zoom in real quick, those power poles have now caught on fire. So the firefighters are having a lot of trouble getting over there. There's really no way back there other than ATVs. They can't get water back there. So that's a real problem. Now, there is a water break to the right. It is burning towards the water, but right now you can see those power poles are on fire, and that can't be a good thing. We're going to stay over this scene and watch it as it goes here. Hey, hey Mike, what about any houses or businesses in that area? It doesn't appear that there are any, at least at the, at the shot that we're seeing right now. Right. There, there's no, no houses that are the fire is burning towards. There are houses behind the fire. Um, the firefighters are on scene, and I'm going to pan back over there. You can see this neighborhood behind the fire. The fire is not burning that way, so that's a good thing, but they are staging around the neighborhood just, just to keep an eye on the embers that might flow over there, make sure that they're watching that. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit closer. You can see a bunch of houses, probably about 200 houses maybe in the area behind it. The fire is not burning that way, so that's a good thing. But what is what it is burning towards is those power lines, and that could be a real problem. Sky 4 photographer Mike Warner is in Sky 4, and he's joining us now to tell us about what he's seen, the changes he's uh, seen, and if it does look like they're getting the upper hand. Mike? Yeah, Steve, it does look like they're getting the upper hand here. And uh, when we fir last reported at 5 o'clock, we had some power lines. I'm going to zip over to those and show you. These power lines, the power poles were actually on fire, so we were pretty concerned about the power lines there, but they got on that pretty good and got that off. But now the fire's kind of retreating back to the west a little bit. And the thing they, they're looking out for now is this fire is moving back to the west and starting to get into some of the heavier trees, heavier brush over there. So they do have a couple of brush trucks on the ground. They are working on it. We've seen them put out some hot spots. Let me widen out a little bit. You can see some of the eastern flanks of the fire are still going pretty good way back there. I'll zoom back into that. Those are going pretty good. Those are light brush, a lot of tall grass. So they're trying to get those out. What they're doing a lot of is letting it burn. It's going to burn over to a natural break, which is some water. So they are letting yeah, some of this that. burn. So uh, so they are getting the upper hand, but it is still kind of being a stubborn fire. It's 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 coming up and going down. So we're just going to stay here and watch it and, and see what see what happens. All right, Mike. Nice job. We're looking at the eastern flames. Yeah, we saw earlier what you mentioned. It's going to get cut off by the water and burn itself out. Let's check in with our chief meteorologist, Dan Henry.